Hey there, welcome back to Sharon's Homestead. I want to go ahead and show you all before the weather gets cold and before we jump into fall, how to make homemade oregano oil. Homemade oregano oil is super important for our health. I'm shaking it up so you can see what it's gonna look like in the end. It's very good for our health in that um, it is a time-tested home remedy that people use once they start feeling under the weather, feeling a cough coming, just not feeling good starting in the fall, going into the winter. And so it's something that I use. It's something that has been time-tested. Grandmas and grandpas all around the world have used. And so I'm gonna show you how to make it. Now, disclaimer, I am not a medical doctor. I do have my doctorate degree from the University of Alabama, roll tide, but it is not in um, medicine, okay? So I am not a, a medical doctor. I don't have certification in medicine, any of those things, full di disclaimer. On this homestead, we do things natural, right? Um, it's gonna be time tested. It's going to be something grandmas and grandpas have used and it has helped them. That's something I've been passed down and I'm gonna pass it down um, to others and share the love and wealth as well. Now, um, a few things you're gonna to need to make the oregano oil is a uh, mason jar. And before I get into it too deeply, want to go ahead and ask you, please pause and like the, the video so that others can also receive the instruction um, through the algorithm, right? Go ahead and like it then share it with someone. Maybe it's your grandmom, your grandpa, maybe it's your brother and sister, maybe someone that lives in the North and they could really use a home remedy right now, right? And so share it and then please hit subscribe and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads. I promise not to waste your time. Most videos are going to be under uh, maybe five minutes or less. We may have some that are longer, but typically five minutes or less. Again, I want to get the information to you and then move on so that you can enjoy it. All right, so you're going to use a mason jar or ball jar, any type of jar that is glass, right? As long as it's clean and it's glass, you're going to use that. You're going to need about 0.5 ounces of oregano. Now, this oregano um, brand is Nature Promise Organic. I just use organic. Can someone use non-organic? I'm not sure. Um, I've never tried non-organic, but I know the organic works. And so um, I use that and I'm just going to dump it half of it, about half, in this jar. Give a little more, all right? Then I'm going to go ahead and place some organic olive oil in here. Um, not a whole lot, but let me see, you can see, almost half, and then I'm gonna give it a good shake. Now, could you use a spoon to shake it? Absolutely, you can use a spoon to shake it, but, in the interest of time, I'm not. So take the lid off. I'm gonna add more oregano, which is the last portion of it. And I'm going to add olive oil. All right. You don't have to worry about it filling all the way up. If you run out, it's okay. Um, mine is going to end up being stronger because I don't have as much oil in there. I have like a lot of oregano. And I'm just shaking it. That's all I'm doing. Look, that's what it's going to look like. Okay. Now I'm going to set this in a pantry. So now I've got two of them. I'm going to set them in my pantry, a cool, dark place. And it's going to stay there for about three to four weeks. And then I'm going to strain it. Do you have to strain it? No, but I'm going to strain it. And if I ever get a cough or anyone in my house get a cough or they feel like oh, I'm coming down with something, then I'm just going to take a, if I strain it, take a dropper of the oregano oil, put it in some orange juice, give it to them, let them drink it. Um, you can put it in ginger tea if you want to, a few drops of that and drink it and it's going to um, do wonders. At least it has done wonders for me um, and our family and everybody I know. Now, um, I want you to do your research. Anything I tell you, and listen, not just me, any page you follow on YouTube, do your research. Check and see if what they're saying is true um, and then do what's best for your family. Home remedy, very simple, very easy, very inexpensive to make, but it does take time. Like I said, I'm going to put it in my pantry. I'm going to um, shut the door, let it be in a cool uh, place, maybe every three days. I might come by and shake it. 
um and that's it and three to maybe about about four weeks i would say two weeks if it was like short and it's like okay we need some oregano oil i could use it in two weeks but i like to let it go to about four weeks before i use it okay again you don't have to strain it you can if you want to all right well that's all i have for you today my next video is going to be another home remedy that's very easy inexpensive to make but packs a power punch against this cold and flu season i hope you have a great day thank you bye